Greetings, Watford fans. Omar here, and it's time for the Yawns observation. Well, the season is over now, officially over in the championship, because, of course, the season ended with the playoff final. And unfortunately for Watford supporters, it was not the outcome we had hoped for. But it was the outcome that some of us predicted, including myself, that Rob Edwards would be lifting a playoff final trophy. And indeed, last evening, that is exactly what he did, as the club that he now manages will be in the Premier League for next season. That's two consecutive promotions for Rob Edwards. And in that time, Watford have gone down and have finished in a very miserable and mediocre season in the championship as a follow-up to that. And the culture at Watford Football Club has got a lot worse. And on top of all of that, Cristiano Giretta, yesterday, according to Adam Leventhal of The Athletic, was given a brand spanking new three-year deal to be the sporting director at Watford Football Club. This is a sporting director who was not welcomed at the club by some of the players when Rob Edwards was the manager of the club that we love. This was a sporting director whom was skulking around the training ground, much to the chagrin and the objection of some of the Watford players, and then manager Rob Edwards. This was the technical, well, the sporting director, whom some of us asked, what the hell does he do at Watford Football Club? That sporting director, that sporting director, was given... Three new years at this club where he'll be working alongside a Ben Manga. And I sit here and I wonder, why is that news being announced on the same day as our arch rivals up the M1 when they play off final and get promoted? Why is that news being released the same day? Or at least, why is that the case? Is it to try to deflect the pain of what we have suffered as Watford fans watching a club that we cannot stand jump up and down and celebrate. They have a right to do that. Not jealous of that club, not jealous of them. There may be some Watford fans who are, but I'm certainly not jealous of them. What I am concerned about is the way our club is going. And when you Get rid of this man. And when you erase this program from the Watford online Hornet shop, go look at that shop now and look under where it says gifts and then where it says programs. And I will guarantee you that you will not see this program amongst the programs that are currently on sale for the 2022-23 season. This program was erased from view. Rob Edwards actually does exist. The man was a manager at Watford. And the ownership at this club decides, oh, we just don't want to have that program here. I mean, let's pretend he doesn't exist. Let's just eliminate the program altogether. If you look at that website, all of the programs, pretty much every program from the season is still up and available for sale. Many of them are, except the very first one of the season, this one. This is a winning program. Watford defeated Sheffield United on Monday, 8, August the 1st, 2022, by a score of one goal to nil. But this owner is never going to admit that he made a huge mistake in letting go of this man, Rob Edwards. He's never going to admit that. In his quiet moments of reflection, he will not ever, ever, bring himself to admit that he should not have sacked Rob Edwards after just 11 games, 10 of them championship games. Rob Edwards was brought in here to improve the culture of the club, to reconnect this club back to the fan base that it has alienated. Rob Edwards was that man. And 
after all we were told last season, before the season began, because last season is now what has just transpired. In the run-up to the start of last season, August of 2022, we were told that Rob Edwards was going to be a fixture at this club come hell or high water. And we all know what happened in the weeks and months following that. It was a specific thing that we were told that Rob Edwards was going to be brought here to repair the culture and to regenerate those cultural ties. And this owner decided that the culture was not as important as the money and the bottom line. You can do both. You can care about the bottom line, which every owner should. And this owner should care about that. And you can also be concerned about and care about the culture at this club, which has become more toxic. It has become more hostile and it has become less welcoming to Watford supporters, not to away supporters. Away supporters are very welcome at the Vic. It's the Watford supporters who have now become public enemy number one at Vicarage Road. As far as this ownership is concerned, based on the way the ownership of this club and the culture of this club is behaving around the fan base that loves this club. There's no other way around that. It's not being negative. That is what is happening before our very eyes if we choose to open our eyes. When you eject fans for holding up a sign that says Potso out, that's hostility to that Watford supporter or supporters who open up that banner, even if it is within specifications. There's no excuse to go ahead now and then just eject fans. You're hostile to the Watford fan base. It's very clear that's what you're telling us. And when a club official is quoted by a fan at the club as saying to that fan that free speech is not allowed at Vicarage Road, you've made it very clear what your thoughts are about Watford supporters. Watford supporters aren't welcome. And their points of view clearly aren't welcome at this club. End of story. And it's got to change. This culture must change at this club. And we have to make an economic statement that will compel change because nothing else will. The culture has got to change at this club. There is a fan meeting that's coming up June 15th. Please get involved. What for Supporters Trust on Twitter has the details about how to get involved directly at London Colney. That's where it's going to be, the London Colney training ground on June the 15th. Please get involved in that. Thursday, June 15th, 2023. But the basic thought I have here is that we as fans now have to look in the mirror at ourselves and ask ourselves, what are we doing to send the message to this owner? Because violence is never the answer here, and I don't condone it. What I am saying that we must look at is the economic response. We must be proactive as Watford supporters because this is not going to change unless the fan base gets up and doesn't attend the games, unless the fan base gets up and doesn't buy the new shirt that's going to come out this summer and the away kit and all the rest of it, unless the fan base gets up and refuses to renew the season tickets. It's not going to change at this club. One fan meeting, while welcome, is not going to now change everything. I think it's important to bring ideas. It's important to engage constructively. I think it's very important to do those things. And if the owner does turn up, give him a hearing. At least he's turning up. If he does... But the bottom line is, is that we as fans now, as Watford Football Club supporters, have to be proactive. And we need to push the agenda. We need to start to make that decision not to purchase items at this club, not to buy merchandise. I'm not saying don't patronize Hive Live, and Hive Live has been awful. And I, I, I'm not saying don't ever 
watch them on television or don't get the Sky Sports package. I'm not saying any of that. What I'm saying is the Vic itself need not be your destination for the game anymore. Really, you have to really think about that seriously because the owner is not going to care whether we rant and rave here or on social media. He doesn't care about that. He may attend this meeting and he may be in contact with fans in that way. But the fan base itself has to make economic decisions because that is what the owner will listen to. That is what he understands. The question is, are you going to stop patronizing the merchandise at Watford, stop patronizing the seat and ticket situation? Are you going to stop doing that? as a Watford fan. I mean, if you want to continue doing that, that's up to you. I don't have anything against you for doing that. But you cannot talk about wanting an owner to leave and you're continuing to purchase merchandise and continuing to renew your season ticket because you really do enable that owner to continue doing what he is doing. And as long as you continue to buy the merchandise and renew the season tickets and all the rest of it, he's going to keep doing what he's doing. So we need to make the change if he does not. Because the only way that the change in culture comes beyond the fan meetings and the suggestions is if A, the man, the owner rather, does something about it and actually does change. And or B, we as fans make it very clear by not purchasing anything at Watford, by staying away from the ground, by not renewing season tickets, that what this owner is doing is not appreciated by us. This has been the Yuan's Observation. <laughs>